there was a situation Corey and I had earlier last year where things were going on with the artist and we were considering possibly like signing her or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and I actually hit you up mm-hmm. just to see what you thought about the situations. You were one of the main people I thought of. And and asking you about your situations, you said, because was, I, I was thinking about a JV, that was the main thing. And I was asking you about your JVs. And you're like, yeah, I've done JVs. I've done these things. But it's like, honestly, I don't even need a label anymore. Right. Or whatever. And I would like you to kind of talk about why, what that perspective is. Yeah. And yeah, let, let's just start that. Like seeing, going through those situations and getting to the point, I don't need a label. Right. I mean, I, I've been, what's, we're, we're on year 18 now, man. So I'm like, I'm a full grown career person. <laughs> it's my 18th year of my career. Um, you know, I've done it all. I, I, I started off independent. Um, I broke my first artist independently. And I'm very fortunate that that artist didn't get signed because I wouldn't know what it's like to do your own thing. You know what I mean? Um, I was this young kid out of Mississippi, and we were the number two largest artist on MySpace at the time. And none of the labels would sign us, but we weren't connected to any any veteran. You know what I mean? Soldier Boy got signed because he was connected to Collie Park. You know what I mean? But we were just us. Like, we didn't have any any industry veterans. So, like, when they called us up to me, is this this young country dude from Mississippi and his young country artist. They not finna give us a deal. But that was, like, the biggest blessing because it forced me to figure out, you know, how do I do this on my own? Um, and I didn't even notice until Ghazi told me. Ghazi came to me and he was like, man, you're the first person to ever put a mixtape on iTunes. And I didn't know this at the time, but I found a company called TuneCore Cause I was like, I saw a beer commercial actually funny. It was a Budweiser commercial and it was two brothers and one of them did the marketing and one of them did the brewing. And so the commercial was like, you can brew it, but can you sell it? And I'm sitting there and I'm like, damn, we making this music, but we not selling it. And so I figured out how I did this before Google. So I still don't know how I figured out, but I figured out, okay, there's this company TuneCore and I can put my music on iTunes. At the time, the only way I knew to get music to, for sale was be with a label. You know what I mean? And so I put it our music on iTunes. First month, we made $30,000. You know what I mean? And I'm just Which like- artist was this? His name is The Joker. The, oh, yeah, yeah. The Joker. Yeah. 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 He was going crazy. Yeah. yeah. His name is The Joker. So I, yeah. I put our music on iTunes. First month, $30,000. Second month, $30,000. Every month, $30,000, 30000 30. And like, you know, coming from somebody who was dead broke. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that that was life changing us. And so that that gave me- the the window that it's possible to do these things on your own. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um and so my next artist that I blew up was K Camp. Um and in that situation I did a JV with Interscope. But at the time when I did the JV, we were the biggest independent artists in the country. We had two songs on top uh, on on radio, top 30. We had Cutter Off and Money Baby both in the top 30 of radio, which is radio at that time was completely major driven. You don't be independent and be up on radio yeah, like especially that. Especially that time. You know what I mean? Back that back was, then, what, that was like 14, like 2013, yeah. 14. So like we had two. And so I had taken him, What if I knew what I knew now, I wouldn't have did the deal then. Because we already bigger than the artists on y'all label. So what do I even need y'all? But I, I didn't know that back then. Right. So I did the JV and now, you know, we, we getting pennies off of that. Like we recouped and everything. We did six platinum records back to back. You know what I mean? So we recouped all of that. And so we get paid off that, you know what I mean, twice a year, which I still think is BS. You know what I mean? Because it come when you were the major, you they pay you two times a year and they're always late. Yeah. I've never got paid on time. So I hear. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so now I'm 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 getting the coins, the pennies yeah. off of that deal when we could have been walking away with millions had we just stayed independent. You know what I mean? That that's the the trick of it is they they they're t- they're stealing your wealth. You know what I mean? They're making you, they're making you rich, they're getting wealthy. Yeah. And so that's that's what I learned in that process. You know what I mean? You know, so do you think those situations, like you said, you knew what you knew now. Yeah. Right. You wouldn't have done it. But from a business executive side. Right, yeah. Do you think someone needs to go that route to well, to learn or to, I, know, like young JR started? Yeah, it, not. How I, would you do it? I did. I did learn from those experiences. But um, the main thing anybody that gets in the building will learn is that you already had it. That's the main thing you'll learn. Yeah. You you go in that the building. Yeah, that's exactly. That's how you got in the building. Yeah. You the main thing you'll learn from going to a major is damn, I already had it. Yeah. I already had it. You know what I mean? So that's the main thing you learn. Um, but I would say I would say now it's so different and so much better because we're not dependent on stores anymore. 
You know what I mean? Back back then in the KCAM days, it's like we were still selling CDs. Like um, Apple didn't start into 2015. So I'm talking 13 and 14 when we were hot. So we're still selling CDs. We have iTunes too. Yep. You know what I mean? But for the most part, people are buying their music out the stores. You know what I mean? But now we're we're on DSPs. And so DSPs literally have uh, what I, I call real estate for independent artists. So like they, they this is where we put independent artists. We have to put this many independent artists. So there's space for you without being signed to anybody. And if you know a lot of these people in the DSPs, they're champions of independent artists. You know what I mean? They're like us three sitting right here, young black gentlemen, right? Our counterparts are the people that are inside of these buildings. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you go work at Spotify, what's gonna be your mindset? I'm gonna help everybody. Yeah. And that's that's exactly the mindset of the people that's working inside of Spotify. You know what I mean? So so the label is really unnecessary when the store now is somebody like you that's willing to help me. You know what I mean? So I'm giving you my master's just to go and talk to somebody that looked like me. When I could have kept all that and, and been talking, hey, listen, Carl Cherry's on Twitter, Instagram, you know what I mean? He, Carl Cherry is the head of uh, Spotify Urban. Um, you got people like Walter Tucker at Apple. He's all over Clubhouse. He's all over Instagram. Like the people who are in position to help you are not hidden away. They're not gatekeepers. They're public. You know what I mean? And they're constantly on a daily basis, uh, a laser at Spotify. They're on a daily basis tweeting, send me new music. You know what I mean? So like your access to them is is wide open. Yep. Um, and so in order to sell music, you have to be in the stores. The major labels biggest hole was they controlled the stores and they controlled the media. You have DSPs and social media. So now, why would I assign to you? You don't control social media. You don't control the DSPs. So therefore, you're just a middleman, you know. And again, there are great people inside the label. So I'm not, I don't want to talk completely down on them, but we're talking from a business structure and a wealth mindset. It's unnecessary. You know what I mean? It's, it's just an unnecessary uh, service at this point. Yeah. Now, you still need experts. But my my what I've been telling people is, there are so many experts out here that have started their own individual situations. You know what I mean? Joey IE left Interscope, now has his own thing. Um, what's my guy that just left Capital? Um, now has his own thing. I can't think of his name. Uh, but Ray Daniels left Warner, now has like all of the top executives are are sort of you know branching out and starting their own things, and will give you a way better structure than had you signed to the major. So like. You have these different experts that are around that can help keep your wealth in your pocket, but still provide you the expertise like myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I still can provide you the expertise while helping you keep your wealth. And so for me, it's like if you get to that level where you need those experts on your team, they're out there now without having to give away everything. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. Well, with that, just a reminder. In the bio, of if you're watching on YouTube, we're going to have a link to give you an idea of what we're getting into together. As I said at the beginning of this podcast, we have a really dope partnership. So if you go to brandmannetwork.com slash shared information, because we're bringing our minds together to give you some of the most valuable content out here, because there's a lot of people who are doing videos and talking about things, but very few who are actually doing it. Y'all heard this entire podcast. JR is more than doing it. And y'all already know what we do. We pride ourselves on people being people who actually do it. And we want to bring y'all more people just like JR. So go to brandmannetwork.com slash shared information if you listen to my podcast. But of course, on YouTube, the link will be in the description. Now, with that being said, 